And let's talk about some mathematics. Mathematics, we talked a little bit about musical notes, playing the third of a chord, playing the fifth of the chord, playing the major seventh, a major nine, a minor nine. All these chords play an important part in getting the sound that you want to hear to write your chord progressions. For example, if you're going to write a song, you can write songs in, in, in numbers. You can call it a one, three, five progression, one being the root. Let's say key of C. The one would be the C note, because it's in the key of C. The third would be the third note from C. E, E is the third note. We'll play E minor in the key of C. The five, which is G, let's count it up. C, D, E, F, G. And if we're in key of C, I said, okay, we're gonna play one, three, five. Play the five first. We know everyone's gonna start with the G major. Mathematics is involved with everything that we do. If you're gonna write a song, let's say you wanna write an introduction, a verse, a chorus, a bridge, and a change. Your introduction may be, may start off with two bars. Now a bar is, or a measure, is four counts in four four timing. So if I count one, two, three, four, that's one bar. If I wanted two bars, it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which is eight counts. Two bars would be eight counts. So if I write a song with two bars intro, and let's say the verse will be three bars, and let's say the bridge will be two bars, and the chorus will be three bars. When you're writing music, mathematics allows organization and structures in creating songs.